this is a video I didn't want to have to bake, um, but I do, and I'll always give you the straight scoop, so here it is. Um, my karma came right back around early on in this trip for not having worked out prior, um, not building in a, um, a rest day or an acclimation day in the Puy prior to hiking. Um, and then I got sick on the plane and uh, I wasn't able to keep food or water down for a couple of days. So the, la the first few days on the hike, I completed all the miles, but it was not very much fun. I wasn't feeling very well. Um, and so to save the rest of the trip, we're kind of we're kind of backtracking a little bit and adding in that acclimation day that we really should have had after landing in France. Um, so today we padded around um, uh, Sog and then took a taxi to Les Faux where we're staying at L'Hostel de Parent. Uh, in English, it's spelled P-A-R-E-N-T. Uh, and I highly recommend it. It is a true gem. It's just beautiful. So I will add some uh, some photographs to the end of this video so that you can see um, uh, what an opportunity you have if you come this way. So what can you do to avoid uh, the trap that I fell into? Well, number one, definitely work out um, before you come uh, to walk um, the Chemin. It's a difficult walk. Um, and number two, uh, enjoy Le Puy. Walk around, go to the restaurants, um, you know, and acclimate to the area. And then uh, three, our first day, I believe, was 14 miles, which actually ended up on my uh, my watch being 16 miles. That's too much for a first day. I would really suggest eight miles for the first day, 10 miles for the second, and then build from there to get your body used to what's going on. Um, I, those are the things that I can think of right away. Uh, so. Please take my advice and don't ruin the first couple of days of your trip by being sick. And I think that's it, so bullshit.